Hi friends, I'm Kat and today I'm going to talk to you about something that sounds like something that you've probably been using for a long time, but it's a little bit different. It's called analysis of means or ANOM. So you've heard of ANOVA, analysis of variance. Analysis of means is a little bit different and it's primarily a graphical technique for being able to tell whether groups are significantly different from an overall mean at some specified alpha. Now another thing about analysis of means is it is a graphical method that has a lot in common with shoe heart charts. So if you've seen some of the other videos on this channel, I know there's at least one out there about shoe heart charts and you learned about mean and range and mean and standard deviation charts as well as P charts and C charts and all these other good ones. There's some similarity between these and those charts, but there are also some critical key differences. If you take a look at the screen that I'm showing you right now, what's wrong with this picture? You'll notice that what we have are mean and standard deviations for measurements, as you can see here, and we've got subgroups of size three. Everything seems okay, right? You've got your means at subgroup size three, there's a test, and you say, oh, this process is not in control. There's one problem with this, however. The subgroup index is not a sequential variable. It's a categorical variable. It's operators. That is not an appropriate situation for a shoe heart chart. So what do we use instead? Analysis of means comes in handy in this exact kind of situation. So analysis of means is a graphical and statistical technique for being able to compare k different treatment means to some overall mean at some significance level. So if you look at the picture that's on the screen now, you'll see that the same subgroup that was showing test one is now showing outside of, notice these aren't control limits anymore, decision limits at a specified alpha, All right? And that's how analysis of means or ANOM works. And this is for operator number seven. So let's see, what's going on with operator seven? First of all, what's the difference between ANOVA and analysis of means? Analysis of variance or ANOVA is used for testing whether there are statistically significant differences among group means. So if your ANOVA is significant, it tells you that there's at least one significant difference, but it doesn't tell you where the difference is. In order to find the difference, you then have to do planned comparisons or post hoc comparisons or contrasts. With analysis of means, it's a graphical technique whose purpose is to identify groups whose means are significantly different from the overall mean. And so it's very easy to tell by which needle is in the red, which one is significantly different. Now some differences between shoe heart charts and analysis of means, you'll see that in a shoe heart chart, if you look at what's on the screen here, the control limits based on shoe heart charts are a multiple of the estimate of the within group variability and that between group variability and the means is compared to that within group variability on the control limits. Analysis of means does not use control limits. It uses decision limits that are a function of the sample size, alpha, the number of comparisons you're making, and of course, the type of variable that you're using, whether it's measurement or attribute. So let me show you how to do analysis of means in SAS. We are in SAS Studio, and what I've done to get here, if you haven't used SAS Studio before, you might not be familiar with this part of the menu system. In SAS Studio, under Tasks and Utilities, Statistical Process Control, Analysis of Means. Double click that, and I've already got one opened up. So the analysis of means task, it will generate code for you. And it tells you on the right side that it can't generate code until you set a response variable and a group variable. This is a data set called payout. And in this payout, we have how much money is being paid out to different providers of services. So we're going to specify that the response variable is the payout amount and the group variable is the provider. Now we do have months, so we could also look at this in terms of control charts, but we're gonna look at this in terms of providers. And we're gonna see if there are some providers who are getting significantly more payout than the grand mean or significantly less. 
There are several chart types available, and notice it's just generated our PROC ANOM code with an X chart statement. X chart is the default, that's the mean chart. But it also has the proportion chart, the P chart, and the rate chart, which is a C chart. And you may have seen those in some of our other videos, and maybe the YouTube fairies will put links to those magically somewhere on the screen that I can't see right now. So uh, there's also mean charts with boxes so that you can see that variability within each group. I'm going to leave this on mean chart. And notice in the options, you can specify that you want to compute the limits from data, or you can use stored limits from a previous analysis. There's also the option of displaying a table of points that exceed your limits. We're going to go ahead and leave just the defaults, though. This is a very, very easy code to specify. You might want to change your alpha in some circumstances, but I'll go ahead and leave that at 0.05. There we are. So there's our mean chart for payout. And you can see that there's one provider, number 120, who's getting way less payout than the grand mean. And here are two providers who are getting significantly more payout than the grand mean. Well, that is a statistically significant difference from the grand mean at an alpha of 0.05. And it does account for how many groups are being compared. So there is that experiment-wise type 1 error control. There are, as I said, other kinds of charts you can use. There's the proportion chart, the rate chart. Lots of other really cool things you can do with analysis of means. You'll actually find analysis of means as part of the ODS output for lots of other things in SAS. It's a really great graphical tool for being able to spot, to identify those groups that are significantly different. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you learned something cool. I definitely had a good time talking to you about how to do this stuff in SAS. Uh, make sure you check out the links below in the description. There'll be some additional information, some things for you to go check out. Uh, also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure you click that like button and tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors, and subscribe to the SAS Users channel. Until next time, have a great day. Thank you.